iOS 16 offers new intelligence, sharing, and communication features that are going to enhance so much of what you do with your iPhone. In iOS 16, we're bringing the biggest update ever to the lock screen, completely reimagining how it looks and works for you. You'll notice the subtle depth effect with my daughters appearing in front of the time. I really love it. Now, if I just press and hold, I can personalize it further. I'll just tap Customize, and now I'm in the editor. Now, check this out. I can simply swipe to try out different styles that automatically change the color filter, the background, and the font for the time, all to complement each other. So let's customize the font. I can audition different typefaces and choose from different colors. Now, I can also make my lock screen more helpful by putting widgets right on the lock screen. So let me move the girls down here and tap in to bring up the widget gallery. And these are really useful for getting information at a glance, like upcoming calendar events. So I'll add the temperature, uh, my activity rings, and let's drag in the calendar widget. Let's create another. I can bring up our brand new wallpaper gallery, which showcases a bunch of options for inspiration. With Photo Shuffle, I can choose a set of photos to shuffle throughout the day. And we also have suggested photos, intelligently curated for my personal library, like the best shots of family that look great on the lock screen. Now, this is an awesome one to add to my collection. Now, I've created a bunch of other lock screens, and by simply swiping, I can switch between them. Watch how it animates fluidly as I swipe into the home screen. Notifications now roll in from the bottom of the lock screen as you receive them, and you can choose to hide them throughout the day. Live activities make it easier to stay on top of things that are happening in real time, right from your lock screen. This will make it really easy to follow that NBA game, track the progress of an Uber ride, see how you're doing on your workout, and more. And now with live activities, the now playing controls can expand to a full screen view that celebrates album art while you listen along. Focus has helped people reduce distractions and stay in the moment. And this year, we're taking it further, starting with extending focus to your lock screen. This means your choice of a photo and widgets can all be tied to a particular focus. And now that you can have multiple lock screens, you can match them to the appropriate focus throughout your day. And now, your focus can also carry into the apps themselves with focus filters, which let you filter out distracting content. Let's take Safari, for example. Instead of seeing all of your websites, you can turn on the Work Focus filter and see only the tabs that relate to work. And you can filter not just tab groups in Safari, but also conversations and messages, accounts and mail, and events and calendar. These updates to Focus can help you draw boundaries and find balance throughout all the moments in your life. Messages. And now we're adding three of the most highly requested features to messages. Now you can edit any message you just sent. So embarrassing typos can be a thing of the past. Now you have undo send. So you can immediately recall a recent misfire. And finally, you can now mark any thread as unread, a perfect tool if you don't have time to respond in the moment and wanna be sure to come back to a message later. Messages makes texting easy and efficient, and it's also a great way to share. Last year, we introduced Shared With You, which takes things like photos, links, and music that your friends share with you in messages and highlights them right in the app where you'd like to enjoy them later. People are loving SharePlay. And this year, we're making it easier to discover all of these awesome SharePlay experiences from within your FaceTime call. With just a tap, you can jump into SharePlay-supported apps that you already have on your phone or discover new experiences that you can share with your friends. We're extending SharePlay beyond FaceTime and bringing it to messages. This was the number one request from developers. Now, when you find something you wanna share, like a movie on Disney Plus, you can kick off SharePlay right there and enjoy it together while chatting in messages. So whether you're using SharePlay for your weekly movie night or marking a message unread so you can respond later, messages has everything you need to connect with ease. Dictation lets you type just by speaking and can be much faster than typing with the keyboard. Today, 
We're excited to introduce an all-new on-device dictation experience that lets you fluidly move between voice and touch. Let's take a look. We'll use our new dictation experience to send an email. Now, when I start dictating, the keyboard stays open so I can switch between using voice and touch. I can even select text using touch and replace it with my voice just by speaking. Are you sending a longer message? Dictation automatically adds punctuation to the text. That's so cool. Mind blown emoji. Automatic punctuation and emoji dictation also work when you send messages with Siri. And this year, we're making it easier to use Siri with apps. Now shortcuts work with zero setup, so you can use Siri to get things done with supported apps. Live text to video. Now you can pause a video on any frame and interact with text just like you can today with photos. It's great for copying code samples. We're also accelerating the things you do with live text with quick actions. So now you're just a tap away from converting currency and translating a foreign language. And for an even richer translation experience, you'll be able to use live text while in the Translate app with our new camera view. Now, when you touch and hold on the subject of an image, you can lift it away from the background and place it in apps like Messages. With Apple Wallet, we're working hard on our goal to replace your physical wallet. Take what we're doing with driver's license and ID cards. And the first locations now accepting wallet IDs are select TSA security checkpoints. You'll also be able to securely present your ID to apps requiring identity and age verification. And now we're making sharing keys even easier with your favorite messaging apps like Mail, Messages, or WhatsApp. When your friend receives the key, they can add it to their wallet with a single tap. And to let you share keys with people who don't have an iPhone, we are working with the IETF to make sharing keys an industry standard that is free for others to adopt. We are seeing tremendous enthusiasm from our partners, with more of them signing on to support keys for all the places you visit. And now, we're expanding even further. Starting this month with Tap to Pay on iPhone, millions of merchants across the U.S. can accept contactless payments directly on iPhone with no additional hardware or payment terminal needed. Beginning with apps from these payment providers, Tap to Pay on iPhone enables small merchants and large retailers to use iPhone to securely accept payments. Apple Pay Later. Apple Pay Later lets you split the cost of an Apple Pay purchase into four equal payments spread over six weeks with zero interest and no fees of any kind. And Apple Pay Later is available everywhere Apple Pay is accepted, in apps and online. Apple Pay order tracking enables merchants to deliver detailed receipt and tracking information directly to Wallet, making it easy to get the latest information on all of your Apple Pay orders. Our new map includes great features like cycling, look around, and so many more. Multi-stop routing. You can now plan up to 15 stops in advance. Maps will now store previous routes and recents, so they're easy to get back to. And you can plan multi-stop routes on the Mac and send them to iPhone when you're ready to go. And of course, when you're driving, you can ask Siri to add additional stops to your route while safely keeping your eyes on the road. Next, let's talk about getting around with transit. We're making it easy for riders to see fares for how much their journey will cost, along with the ability to add transit cards to Wallet. And if a transit card balance is running low, you'll receive an alert so you can reload it without having to leave maps. And now, with live activities, the Apple TV app brings you scores and play-by-play -play action right on your lock screen. You can now follow your favorite teams and leagues to get stories from hundreds of the best publishers in an all-new section called My Sports. You'll also find scores, schedules, and standings for the top professional and college sports leagues. And highlights, too. Now you can catch the best plays from your favorite teams right in your newsfeed starting with some updates to family sharing. And this year, we're making it even easier to create accounts for kids and make sure the right parental controls are in place right from the start.
We're adding a new easy way to set age appropriate restrictions for apps, movies, books, and music, along with quick setup of other important parental controls. We're also making setting up a new device for your child like an iPad really simple. Just turn on the device they'll be using, bring your iPhone nearby, and choose to set up with Quick Start. With just a few taps, the new device will be set up for their use with all the parental controls you've selected already configured. And when your child asks for more screen time, you won't have to navigate to settings to approve or deny the request. You can now respond right in messages. Finally, we've added a new family checklist with helpful tips like updating a child's settings as they get older, turning on location sharing, or just reminding you that you can share your iCloud Plus subscription with everyone. We're introducing iCloud Shared Photo Library to help you share photos seamlessly and even automatically. It's easy to set up. It's a separate iCloud library that everyone can contribute to, collaborate on, and enjoy. You can participate in one shared library that's shared with up to five other people. We've made it simple to share just the photos you want from your library. You can share everything already in your library or choose what to include based on a start date or the people in the photos. For example, you could choose to include just the photos where you were together with your partner and the kids. Once the shared library is set up, you can manually move over new photos after you take them, but we wanted to make it even easier with a new switch right in camera that sends shots straight to the shared library as you take them. You can also choose to have the sharing switch enabled automatically whenever you take shots with other members of the shared library nearby. So if you take photos on a camping trip, you don't have to remember to share them later. You'll also receive intelligent sharing suggestions in the For You tab. Everyone has equal permissions for adding, editing, and deleting photos in the shared library. So if one member of the group is a talented photo editor, everyone gets to enjoy their edits to the shared photos. Deletions, captions, and keywords sync too. Content in the shared library will appear in everyone's memories, featured photos, and in the photos widget. So you can relive your family's adventures that include all the photos. Another critically important area is protecting our users' personal safety. One way we're doing that is by adding a new tool to help people quickly turn off others' access. For example, disabling location sharing if they're escaping an abusive relationship. It's called Safety Check. To tell you about it, here's Katie. Many people share passwords and access to their devices with their partner. However, in abusive relationships, this can threaten personal safety and make it harder for victims to get help. A new section in settings where you can quickly review and reset the access you've granted others. This lets people in abusive situations quickly revoke an abuser's access to their data and location, enabling them to cut ties and get to safety. Safety Check stops sharing your location with others via Find My and resets the system privacy permissions for all apps. It also protects access to your messages by helping you sign out of iCloud on all your other devices and restricts messages and FaceTime to the device in your hand. Safety Check also helps you manage who you've given access to, and you can audit which permissions you've granted to certain apps. iOS 16 offers so many updates that will change the way you experience iPhone iOS also extends that experience beyond the phone to enhance how you interact with the world around you. Whether helping you through your morning routine or keeping you connected on your next road trip. Now, spatial audio works by understanding how sound interacts with the geometry of your head and ears. And now in iOS 16, you can use the true depth camera on iPhone to create a personalized spatial audio profile, enabling an even more precise and immersive listening experience tuned just for you. Plus, Quick Note is coming to iOS, so you can capture ideas instantly. A new rapid security response mechanism gets important improvements to iPhone faster, and you've got more Memoji customizations to choose from. And there's so many more features to meet your needs, no matter where you are. 